We want the shortest path between P and T. Should we go along the base first and then up the side, or avoid the base entirely and traverse two sides? Which do you think? Let's take a look at the path across the base first. Draw a square for our base with side length 20. And a triangular side. Add the midpoint of this edge and connect the corner of the base. There's our path length. Let's look at it as a real number, around 32. Now for our second option, we add another side, and if we imagine this in three dimensions, we know that point G is the same as point A on the square. So connect it to point F and measure the distance. It does look shorter, but let's look at the real number. Yep, the path around the sides is shorter.